Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lee. Today we are going to be doing some yoga for the IT band. The reason I'm doing this is because I've been experiencing some outer knee pain for the past couple of weeks and I'm suspicious that it has something to do with my IT band. I got an x-ray and it has nothing to do with my bones. Um, that being said, you don't have to do this practice just if you have an injury. If you run a lot, if you work out your legs a lot, if you stand a lot, this is going to feel great for you either way. If it's none of the above and you just kind of want to do a random IT stretch because you think it'll feel good for your body, of course you're also welcome to join me. Keeping all of that in mind, if you do have an injury and you start experiencing some pain in your body, I'm going to ask you to come out of it, take a little break, and then join me back when you're ready or join me in a stretch that is maybe going to feel a little better for you. So we're going to start the practice standing at the top of the mat. And I do have a few props behind me. I have two blocks and a strap. If you think you'll need them, you can go ahead, click pause, and grab them really quick. You don't need them, but I find for me, since it is some sort of injury that I have, it feels better when I use them. So when you're ready, come to the top of the mat, bringing the toes to touch and leaving a slight space in between the heels. We'll come to standing in mountain pose, standing up nice and tall. Strong posture here. Draw the shoulders back arms beside your body, lengthen out through the spine. Inhale your arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward, slight bend in the knees, folding all the way down, release your arms down when you arrive. Inhale, half lift, find a flat back. Exhale, fold. Do this two more times. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold forward. Last time, inhale. Exhale, fold. All right, we're going to toe heel the feet apart, bringing the feet hip distance apart, keeping that bend in the knees. We'll grab opposite elbows here. Let the upper body hang heavy. You can start swaying side to side, letting the crown of your head release down towards the floor. Grounding down through all ten toes, maybe rocking forward and back. Kind of getting that stretch in the hamstring, the back side of the body. And we'll release the fingertips down and start to rise up vertebrae, 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 moving slowly. We'll come back into that mountain pose. Allow your shoulders and the head to be the last thing to come up. We'll take a big shoulder roll at the top. Inhale the arms high up overhead. We're going to wrap the left hand over the right wrist and then stretch over to the left side of the room as your hips draw over to the right. So you should feel the stretch in the right side of your body towards the right quad. Inhale to center. Grab a hold of your opposite wrist. And this time we'll reach over to the right. And try keeping the feet grounded. Try keeping the legs as straight as you can. All right. And we'll come back to center. Grab the opposite wrist. It should be your right wrist this time. Toe heel the feet together. And then we're going to cross the right leg over the left leg and take that stretch over to the left side. Inhale to center. Grab your left wrist. And then we'll simply bring that right leg and cross it behind the left. Take your stretch over to the right side. Beautiful. Slowly uncross. Bring the feet to touch. Release the arms down. Inhale the arms up overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, ground your hands down, bend the knees, and then we're going to step back straight into your down dog. So big steps here. Take the feet to the back of the mat and then we'll start to walk out the dog here 
Bending one knee at a time, stretching out the ankles, stretching out the toes. And pressing down through the hands and the feet evenly here. All right. We'll start by lifting that right leg up and back behind in a three-legged dog. And then we'll bend the knee open, opening up the hips, drawing that heel over to the left glute. Inhale, three-legged dog, straighten your leg back. Exhale, knee to nose, round the spine, bring it in all the way until your foot sets down in between the hands. Or lower that left knee down, point the toes back. Coming into a low lunge. Exhale, start to straighten through the right leg. And then we're going to flex the foot, point your toes back. So this is kind of the point in the practice where you'll use a block if you have one. I'm going to go ahead and grab mine. So we're in half splits right now. If you have a block, you're going to keep it down beside you for that left hand. Right toes pointed back towards your face. Exhale, fold forward. Keep a slight bend in that right knee. One more breath. Inhale, half lift. We're going to keep that left hand grounded on the mat or on the block. And then with the right hand, we're going to start to twist open and then reach the fingertips to the back side of the room. So right now I'm really feeling it right here in the IT band and it feels really good. It feels nice. One more breath. Moving slowly, start to lower that right hand down. And then we're going to shift the hips back to the front into that lunge. Tuck the left toes in, knee off the ground. We're going to take a big step with that left foot and straighten out both legs into our pyramid pose. Exhale, fold forward. Same concept here. We're going to start twisting. On your next inhale, find a flat back. Left hand stays grounded. And this time, instead of reaching to the back of the room, we're going to open up the right shoulder externally. Start to rotate it and reach the fingertips up to the sky. And you can keep your gaze looking down if it feels okay for your neck. Start to shift the gaze up towards the ceiling. One more breath. On the next exhale, set the right hand down. Beautiful. We're going to bend into that right knee, move the block off to the side, frame the front foot, and we'll step it back into the downward facing dog. We won't stay too much in this down dog, so it doesn't have to look perfect. Just fine. Some movement, find whatever feels good right now. And come to stillness when you're ready. Lift the left leg high, three-legged dog for a moment, and then we'll bend the knee, drawing the heel over to the right glute this time. Press evenly through the hands. Don't let that left shoulder come up. Try to keep it so it's pointing towards the mat. Inhale, three-legged, straight into your leg. Exhale, knee to nose, round it in. Step your foot down. Right knee on the ground, point the toes back. Low lunge. Inhale. Exhale, shift the hips back as you straighten the left knee this time. Point the toes back towards your face. And grab a hold of that block if you're using it. We'll set the right hand down this time. Exhale, fold forward, half split. Keeping in mind that you'll always have 
one side of your body that's a lot tighter than the other. So kind of adjusting to that and bending the knee a little more if you need to, if it allows you to get deeper into it, to straighten out the leg a little more, maybe engage your quad a little more, then you can come into that as well. So kind of find that spot in your body where maybe there's a restriction or maybe there's some room to push forward. Beautiful. Inhale, half lift. Keep the right hand grounded. Start opening up, twist to the left. Reach your fingertips to the back. Keep your awareness on that left foot. Sometimes we point the toes down because we don't notice. So I want you to really keep it flexed so the toes are towards your face. Last breath here. And slowly come back to the front. Set that left hand down. Shift the hips forward. Right toes tuck in, knee off the ground. Step the right foot forward. Straighten out both legs as much as you can. Exhale, fold. Only two breaths here. Inhale, half lift. Start opening up through the left hand. Reach it up high. So for me, this side is a lot tighter. There's kind of a restriction here in my hips. So my hands, my fingertips can't quite reach all the way to the ceiling. So I'm just gonna reach them as much as I can. One more breath. Start to lower down. Move the block off to the side. Slide bend in that left knee. And we'll step the feet back, downward facing dog. And we'll shift the gaze forward in between the hands and slightly lower your knees down into a quick tabletop. We're gonna find our way onto our bellies. And then we'll bring the left forearm in front, parallel to the front of the mat. Rest your forehead on it for a moment. Beautiful. Bend your right knee, heel towards your glute. With your right hand, I want you to reach either for your toes or for your ankle, whatever your body allows. We're gonna engage the pelvis here as you draw your heel towards your glute. So I can't push too deep because then it starts to hurt, but there's kind of a middle point where it feels good. One more breath before we switch to the other side. Awesome. Slowly release that right foot down. We'll switch the forearms out here, right forearm in front, rest the forehead down. Bend through the left knee. Reach for your foot or your ankle. Engage the pelvis. Draw it down. Release your foot down. And then we'll bring both hands underneath the shoulders and we'll press back into that tabletop position. We'll drop the heels over to one side, drop the hips over to the other. And then we're gonna come to lying flat on the ground. So when you arrive, we can hug the knees into the chest, allowing the entire spine to ground to the floor and maybe sway side to side, giving yourself a nice little massage. Beautiful. So from here, I want you to set the feet flat on the ground. And then if you have that strap, you can go ahead and reach for it now. So instead of coming into the regular expression of a pigeon will come into a reclined pigeon just because just because I'm feeling lazy right now and I think it'll feel best so if you do want to take that full expression you can come off of your back but otherwise we'll come into that reclined pigeon pose 
So we'll bring the left ankle to cross over the right knee. Flexing the feet here, protecting your knee. And then we're going to lift off, drawing the knees in close to the body. So you can stay here if this is enough for you. If you want to kind of go a little deeper, you can loop your hands in between the space and then connect by your hamstring or connect by your shin. So for me, I'm going to loop my strap over by my ankle and then kind of just draw my legs in closer to my body. Two more breaths. Awesome. We'll move the block, not the block, the strap off to the side. Release your hands down. And then we're going to let the knees completely overlap if they can or as much as they can here. So instead of coming into a seated cow face pose, we're going to come into a reclined one. So I want you to reach for your feet with your hands and then just draw them kind of press down towards the floor and towards your face, letting your shoulder blades relax down to the ground. And you can close your eyes if you want to here letting your mind relax, sending that signal to your body that everything's okay, that if you have an injury, you're going to heal. Awesome. We'll start releasing down, and then we'll uncross the legs, bringing it into the opposite side. Right ankle is going to cross over the left knee this time. Take that figure four. Reclined pigeon. Draw the knees in close to your body and then take the loop that you want to take, whether with the straps, with your hands, or if you just want to rest your arms down and let your knees open up in the pose. Two more breaths. arms off to the side, overlap your knees, reach for your feet here, for the outer edges of your feet, and then we'll draw the feet down towards the hips as you let your shoulders ground to the floor. Reclined cow face pose. Start to uncross the legs, and then we'll extend the legs out and shake them out a bit. We'll have about five more breaths to come into any other pose you might want to come into. Otherwise, we'll meet in Shavasana. So let your legs spread out wide, arms beside your body, palms facing up high. If you have the time, I suggest that you stay here for two to three minutes. If you have to go, then thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this practice was helpful. I hope it felt good for you. If you really liked one of the stretches and you wanna kind of spend more time on it, then pause the video, go back to it, replay it. This is why YouTube is awesome because you could kind of stay as long as you want. If you didn't quite get one of the poses and you need to take a moment to look, also, Come back to that and then we'll just meet in Shavasana when you're ready.